I was stunned by the arrival, which is along the top of the hillside, and coming from when you in, come into this bay, you feel like you could be a long way away from anywhere. I'm Lynn Kelly and I'm a jeweller, been a jeweller for 26 years. Before I was a jeweller I did horticulture. The starting points for me are often nature and plant related um, and it can go from Sometimes they are things that start at a plant and look like the plant at the end. Sometimes they start at the plant and you would have no idea that that's where they came from. And either of those I'm happy with. Sometimes they start at a plant and they're made from the plant and I kind of like that too. I'm very lucky to be here in Scandrick Park. I applied for the residency to see the contrasts. I've been living in Dunedin at the moment and the contrast between Otago plant life and North Auckland plant life is massive. Also the Scandrits, once I read a little bit about the Scandrit family, uh, George Scandrit came to New Zealand from Northern Ireland and my family are from, my parents were from Northern Ireland and sort of looking at coming to a different country. The one of George here obviously got quite a bit smaller but on the, and enlarged it and on the side of it it says one of the best that's been written on which I think is just fantastic. There's a lot of items that I've found on the beach particularly that have influenced what I would like to be making. These are some of my daily collections which I each day when I go out on the beach and I find things that interest me and it makes me happy and I want to take them home for, for a day or two and they tend to be a great mixture of things. This one here was one that was very early in the piece, which I guess is seaweed. I just find the mixtures and the oddities fantastic. I've made, got the mock-up or the beginnings of a necklace out in the workshop using these pieces. I've been picking up the tangled pieces of net that somebody has cut off when they've had trouble with their nets, but I started picking those up to save them, the birds getting caught in them, and actually have found myself with those as a part of a necklace at the moment. So it's Coming on the residencies, I find a fantastic thing for allowing myself enough time to have playtime. And I haven't got my bench there with all the things I could just, oh, just sit down and do that thing you usually do, Lynn. It makes me take the side step and experiment more and say, oh, well, I wonder if I put this with that and look more carefully at it. I've just been working actually in in a much more um, allowing myself to experiment. And 
what I've found just recently is working on images of the maps of the, the district. Mullet Point is a very particular shape, but to be able to combine them where if you happen to know that was the starting point, that would give you that idea, but you could look at these as a group of pieces that happened to go together and not necessarily know that they had to be Mullet Point. I like the, that the starting point can be an extra as opposed to a requirement. You don't have to have read the book to get the piece. I've been keeping, amongst other things, I've been keeping the diary of the things I see that are starting points, whether it be textures or whatever it is. But I realised what I was doing was collecting pieces, as you can see, every day. And so what I realised was that I was going to keep a diary, but of visual collections. And I've really enjoyed doing that. I've enjoyed it going for my daily adventure walk and what what the collection will be today. Had I been we went to the see the cowrie these on this day and this was a beautiful thick piece of cowrie, um, the bark off trees, a piece of stone that may well have been um, the concrete that the Scandrits used to perhaps build the one of the original buildings. is for two months, which is a, um, seems like a really good length of time, both for getting to know the place and then getting ideas underway. I'm spending my days drawing and taking photographs and finding the items on the beach. The open studio has been at the other end just of the Scandrits Bay from where I've been staying and it's been in the homestead that George and Helena Scandrit had built and the homestead is open often in the weekend for people to just have a look through and there's a portion of history of the family in there and I would go up with whatever it was that I was working with and just do some work up there for a couple of hours and occasionally people who had heard of the residency would come and be interested to see what I was up to or people who were just coming to look through the house and I found it very interesting. Having the time to actually be thinking things through. I've been finding myself waking quite early in the morning and getting the solutions that often I have to sit at the bench trying to search for. I think that it's been really nice having come with knowing a little history about the family and a vague idea of what I thought I may do, but coming here able to, with enough time and uh, able to relax and re look at things and slow down enough to look intently at things that I think it's actually widened quite greatly the ideas that I have. I've been doing very plant related things in the past and I feel it's, it's widened that notably and I'm really pleased about that. It's been lovely where, oh, there's the kingfisher that always comes and fishes from those rocks. And gosh, there's that tui that's still chasing that sparrow. And I've really enjoyed 
the repetitiveness of that. Becoming part of the whole repeat process, the tide comes in, the tide goes out, the, the tuis come and check whether the flax is opening yet. It's a very nice part to feel a part of that process. It now feels as though we're part of that and I like that. Thank you.